Monday, December 17th, 2018, Monaco 64, home of alternative economics and contrarian views. This morning, I want to talk about uh, how central banks, and in particular the Fed, are going to have to resort uh, to a weapon they have that they don't, tr don't like to use too much because the more they use it, the more control they lose of their uh, fiat currency system, and that is gold. Um, I've made uh, several videos about that. I made one in April this year, and I said a reset like 1934 and 1980 would mean uh, $21,000 gold. Uh, I mean, that could be right, could be wrong. Uh, it, it could uh, be less, it could be more. And I'm going to look at a, 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 a very interesting article I saw on Silver Doctors, which talks about uh, where, uh, you know, gold could potentially go uh, in terms of a, a crisis. The article is entitled, This Gold Chart Analysis Shows We're Closer to a Significant Monetary Event. Why don't central bankers uh, like to use gold? Well, because they lose control, as I said, of their monetary, fiat monetary system. If they have to rely on gold too much, you know, they, uh, people are going to start asking questions. I, I would say the last time they used it was uh, 1980. Before that, 1933 uh, 34. That's the Fed. Uh, of course, I'll look at the markets this morning, what they're doing. It's around quarter to 8 a.m. London. And uh, I'll talk a little bit about what's, hap what's going to happen uh, in terms of. Uh, things that could affect the market uh, this week. So, uh, as I speak here, uh, markets are fairly uh, quiet, <coughs> excuse me, and steady. Uh, we've got spot gold at 1238.60, uh, virtually unchanged. Silver is at 1461, up about five cents. Uh, the Dow, uh, 24,115, up 17 points. So I think it, we got down to uh, just above 24,000 yesterday when the futures opened overnight, uh, 11 p.m. London. So uh, S&P 2605, up 5. Uh, NASDAQ 100 future up 16 at 6609, a quarter of a percent. Uh, currencies, the, the pound is down 5 pips to 125.80. So virtually unchanged euro likewise only up 0.1 of a percent 113.15 dollar yen huh, unchanged 113.40 uh, dollar u1 uh, dollars down slightly against the u1 is at 689.80 crude oil uh well unchanged as well so very, everything very quiet this morning uh, wti is 51 uh 58 and brent is 60.40 uh, and on to the bond markets. So it will be an important week for the, the yield curve and the bond markets, Treasury. Right now, the 10 year is at, unchanged at 289. So why is it going to be an important week? Well, we got the Fed uh, FOMC meeting uh, this week, Federal Open Market Committee uh, of the members of the board of the Federal Reserve, where they'll decide uh, uh, on raising interest rates, which I think they will, it's a uh, it's priced in basically into the market. They meet tomorrow and Wednesday, and on Wednesday they uh, announce their decision, uh, and then there's a press conference where uh, the the chairman Powell will uh, take questions. Uh, he will talk about Fed expectations. And the interesting uh, one interesting article I saw on Zero Hedge it says. Just one misplaced dot by the Fed and expect a uh, curve inversion within weeks. <clears throat> so, yeah, the, people are be listening very closely to uh, Powell. Uh, does that mean I believe the Fed uh, knows what they're doing? No, but the markets will react to it. Uh, right now, in terms of the uh, yield curve, uh, the twos to fives are flat right now 273 the yields on both the the one that people will keep an eye on is the twos tens in my opinion and that's still uh 16 basis points uh upward sloping so it's not flat nor inverted yet the 10 years at 289 the twos at 273 why is that important well because 
Uh, normally, it, it costs more to uh, borrow longer term than shorter term. And uh, a lot of banks take advantage of that. They, you know, borrow short and lend long and, uh, and leverage up and make the, little, the difference. When the curve inverts, it gets very tough for banks. If you think the Moneco 64 channel adds value to you and you'd like to contribute or help the channel, check the links uh, below in the description. As I said uh, about the Fed and central banks in general, I, I did make a video uh, and I'll put it up in the cards and the link below in the description back in April uh, where I talked about, uh, you know, uh, what gold might do if there's a reset like uh, 1934 and 1980. Uh, a lot of people have been, I made a live stream yesterday, people asked about this comment that Q made about gold and Big Swear. Uh, well, first of all, I, I'm not too convinced about Q. Second, uh, I think Bix Weir uh, has some good points uh, overall on different subjects. Uh, on this, though, he he kind of said, well, uh, Q knows that we uh, there's gold in the Grand, Grand Canyon. Uh, well, I don't believe that about the gold in the Grand Canyon, um, that there's uh, millions and millions or even billions of ounces there. Uh, I think uh, there's a good point prospect for gold there but from the article that I read that even Bix Weir talks about from 1912 it looks like it was too costly to uh, you know to explore it and to mine it so the company that uh, was involved gave up so I'm not too sure there's uh, you know bars of gold there um, the other thing uh, if Q is for real you know and I'm not uh, I know a lot of people believe in this Q and stuff, but I'm not too sure. But if he is and he's talking, you know, he said the gold is there, it's fine. I think it's more in relation to uh, uh, Treasury Secretary Mnuchin. You know, he went uh, last year, I think in, yeah, 2017, first time uh, in many, many decades, one of the uh, Treasury Secretary went to Fort Knox to check on the gold. <laughs> and he said the gold is gold is okay or something gold is safe right i think that's what he mean he meant q if q is for real right that there is the gold at fort knox uh and the official u.s gold reserves you know are there and uh not uh, this grand canyon story and that you know could uh, could it be that we're closer to some kind of um uh, reset well i think a reset or a would only occur in the depth of a crisis when the central banks need to, you know, pump up the system. I think it will be very hard, uh, you know, especially for the European Central Bank. <laughs> Their rates are uh, negative. Uh, they've just ended QE. Their economy is slowing down. Uh, they got no room whatsoever to, like, try to fix things. Uh, the Fed is a bit further along. You know, they're uh, just over 2% interest rates, but still not that much uh and the the qe uh right now they're like uh qting <laughs> they're uh tightening so they can't just stop and start buying again so i think they need to continue and uh, it would make them look uh like amateurs uh very uh loose credibility so what would be their last uh weapon in their arsenal would be gold because gold would help uh their balance rebalance their balance sheet uh gold still priced at 42 dollars and 22 cents in their balance sheet so if they price it at the market price you know that would be <laughs> that would reliquify them very very quickly uh so the other article i read which is really interesting uh is by uh hubert mulman hubert mulman doc wordpress.com this gold chart analysis show we're closer to a significant monetary event and he does the uh ratio between the uh federal reserve bank of st louis monetary base uh to the gold price and he notes that historically uh when we had the reset in 1933 uh we hit uh that uh, four number four uh you know, we hit that uh, four line there, which is 
uh, around uh, four and a half to five in this ratio. And he thinks we're going to have the same thing happen again. And that's when a reset occurs. So let's say that ratio is five. So five to one, you know, if you take the, you know, the price of uh, gold. And I think I said the monetary base divided by the price of gold, but actually it's the price of gold divided by the monetary base. You can see that right now. Uh, he's is around 0.36 and he thinks it's going to break out. So what about, what's the uh, St. Louis uh, adjusted monetary base? Well, it says here, the adjusted uh, monetary, and I'm taking this from the St. Louis Fed, the adjusted monetary base is the sum of currency, including coin and circulation outside Federal Reserve banks and the U.S. Treasury, plus deposit, deposits held by depository institution, uh, institution at, at Federal Reserve banks. So you can see that uh, this monetary base has been dropping here. And I think this is because of the QT, right? Uh, the, the Fed's take, you know, unwinding their balance sheet, taking money out of the system. So the banks are taking money out of the Federal Reserve. Uh, we know QT is going to continue another 50 billion or so a month, I think, for another 12 months or, or more. So that's 600 billion. So we could see that... Uh, down to around three trillion or three thousand billion let's say there's a crisis we'll lose a lot of face if they say oh we need to do qe again i i think uh if they do qe again or other central banks if they resume qe uh, investors will lose complete confidence in them because they'll say this debt will never be paid we can we can never uh unwind this and that's why i think they might use the gold uh, card and well if you do five times you know three thousand we come to around 15 right on that uh, ratio so i, I looked uh, at twenty one thousand. i think i looked at different uh, factors i didn't look at the uh st louis fed monetary base or it could be somewhere in between those two levels uh the other uh, thing I look at is the Dow gold ratio that it could go down to one. So yeah, it makes sense. You know, the Dow corrects 50% or a little less and we get $15,000 gold, 15,000 Dow, one to one. Uh, and that's what happened in 1980. That's what happened in 1933. Uh, of course, in 1980, we still had a couple of years or a year and a half or so of of recession uh, the economy didn't do well but look what happened after that in the 80s up until 1999 2000 so that really got things going in the long term and that's what I think we need right now so there you go um, when is all this gonna happen I don't know uh, I just the thing about predicting is very hard but you can uh, how can I say try to uh, guess what's going to happen by looking at uh, people's and institutions actions that it you know um, if someone starts drinking and they drink a lot you know they're going to have a hangover the next day uh, because that's what happened uh, in the markets and the monetary system uh, that's the same thing we, we know that when central banks uh, pump up the system create credit a humongous amount of credit out of thin air, we know that it, eventually that will come home to roost. And that's why, um, you know, I think that will happen. When it will happen, uh, it's not as easy, you know, as predicting that someone will be hung over tomorrow morning after drinking tonight, because this is a, a different uh, kind of thing, right? So, but uh, I guess we're getting closer and closer to that. And uh, we need to keep an eye on these things. If you enjoyed this video, uh, make sure you hit uh, the like button, uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. Uh, YouTube, uh, a couple of days ago, uh, I got a message from them. I think a lot of other YouTubers got it and saying, oh, we're gonna like delete a lot of your subscribers because they're spam or uh, because uh, people buy subscribers, you know, and <laughs> 
I never heard of people buying subscribers. I've never bought a subscriber, <laughs> you know, and uh, so they uh, took out about, I was almost up to 22,000, but uh, it's not really important, the number of subscribers in my opinion. For me, the most important thing is to get the message across. And if people are interested, you know, they will subscribe. Uh, you can also follow me on Steemit, DTube, and on Twitter. I wish you all a great uh, day today, and uh, I'll talk to you later. Take care. Bye.